So we're gonna have hamburgers tonight and I uh, went to the grocery store but they didn't have bison meat and I really, really, really like bison meat. Uh, spoiler alert, future episode of I Heart Food. <laughs> anyway, so on our way back, or while we were at the grocery store, we noticed they had these meat-free burgers that are made entirely from plant protein. So, you know, let's give them a try. Uh, let's see if this is any good. Apparently with this particular brand, the meat bleeds which has always been my least favorite part of cooking, so I don't know why that's something they'd want to make sure still happened. Okay, first step number one, remove the meat from the package and take a look. Hmm, looks pink and meaty. Next step is to put the thing on the ground for the kitty. Charles, it is a paper bag. Charles? Where are you at? Well done. boy. Yeah. That's right. You show that bag. You're not messing around. Uh oh. Super pink, super meat like, squishy. Don't worry, it's so plastic. I'm just touching it. Seems to be meat like to me. Maybe there's more than meets the eye. Yeah. Upon opening the plastics, Initial observations. This straight up smells like cat food. This smells like cat food. Okay. And it's sizzling. You know, there it is. Okay, three minutes. This, that's a satisfying sizzle, no? That's a satisfying sizzle. Time to add cheese. I literally missed the flip. Yeah, I'll have to get that another one. Ooh. And now we add some cheese. Okay, it just occurred to us that Maggie doesn't know it's fake meat, my little sister. So we're gonna see if she can even tell if it's fake meat. Okay? That sounds pretty good, right? This is just a fun fact about making burgers. This, how do you flip a can? This, oh yeah, is a great way to get your cheese to melt. See? Mmm. You can immediately tell. Well, it doesn't taste like a burger. Try that, because you really thought we were having beef burgers, right? Mm -hmm. And it just straight up tastes like a veggie burger. Look a bit. But doesn't it look like a beef burger? Mm -hmm. That one tastes different than mine. Is yours just bad? Would this have convinced you? Maybe. Yay! Bella, you love the meat the most. I love meat and I love burgers, but that was good. That yeah. was a good alternative. We've determined that Parmesan cheese is a better binding agent for the top of the burger. So I'm gonna make one more and I'm gonna have everybody taste it using Parmesan. Cause mine tasted the best and I had Parmesan on top of mine. Guys. Yeah, they love it.
Well. Juicy. Juicy. <laughs> it's juicy. <laughs> Dude, this actually tastes like meat meat. Too late. <laughs> you think you could fool me? <laughs> closing thoughts. Closing thoughts. Closing. Closing. Closing <laughs> thoughts. Da, na, 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 na. Na, na, na. Closing thoughts. Da, 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 da. <laughs> it leaves you feeling very full. It leaves you feeling very full. So good job. Good job, that burger. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I literally just finished editing and editing, editing it right now. And I would just like to say that I respect burgers of all shapes, sizes, colors, and origins, and various tasty levels. So whatever burger's the burger for you, man. You know, Mwah. just enjoy that. Also, be sure to check out I Heart Food Mondays at 10 p.m. You guys will see my thoughts and feelings on food, but in a much shinier format. But still, just as many puns. Anyway, have a great day. Mwah.